All right, here we go. We're gonna free just declare. Hopefully I can a little better than I did. The free uh, free weekly instant tournament just wasn't quite ready. <laughs> All right, here we go. I go along, play um, tournament on BBO and try to help you with my grammar. So this is a just declare. Ended up in four hearts. Great club fit. I got loser, potentially two losers there. One, two, three, four losers, and we're in four hearts. Anything we can do about that? I guess we need to get the ace of diamonds over here, and we're also going to need an even trump split because we do not have, have seven trump. So this is really our only for sure entry over here. So I guess this is good time as any to lead diamonds. Could have been a singleton club, so we could be in trouble here. So we, if we can get a three and even Trump split, which adds to favor that we will. We'll make this. <laughs> All right, the mercy of that moment. Is there any reason to not? Oh. Well, All right, we can claim. All right, so this is just declare, so everyone will be in the same contract. Um, Three no, when it might have even reasonable. I don't know if it plays any better though. <laughs> All right, so we are in three no this time. Runnable clubs. Basically, if they jump up here and take the lead, we are going to be able to run their diamonds, but they did not. So we are just going to cash out. Sometimes you get a little frisky and try to sneak in another spade trick or something, but I decided not to. I just, and then how diamonds split? Well, they could have got four diamonds and they spades. But if the diamonds were not split evenly, they could have got even more. So it's not just. Cash out. Spades were five two and diamonds were four three. So yeah, could be down one if we take them off the top. All right. Luckily defined though. All right, we're in three clubs. So loser, loser, loser. Probably not in any in the club seat. I'm not seeing a reason not to pull Trump. Outside shot, I guess the Queen of Spades is a doubleton. 7, 11, 12. He's king of spades. This is a double ten. Uh, how do I get there? Do I just duck the first spade and play for a three three and try to get the fourth spade over there? That's the ten of spades. That's an interesting discard. Spade. I don't know what to do, as you can tell. <laughs> no, this one's going to be sitting over there as a trick, but I can't get there. So I was trying to figure out both. I couldn't. 
So we're going to lose our two hearts and make four. Couldn't, didn't figure it out. I do both. I think we're doing fine so far. Just to clear, it's tough again, because you can't differentiate yourself in any other way. <laughs> Bidding or defense, because you're gonna be to clear all the time. All right, so we're in four spades. Boy, two of diamonds lead, is that singleton? Certainly could be our only potential challenges are the spade suit themselves. We'll take our free finesse here. All right, so the diamonds are set up. How do we want to play this? We want to play this to lead the queen of spades and see what we see. All right, we didn't see the king. We saw it there. So hearts. Ah, king jack, wrong place. That's a problem. So if I played ace of spades up to, that would have been the, no, they still got the queen. Ace of spades up to, if they go up with the king. One more trick, seven, 10, 17. All right, three clubs again. Why do we keep two losers in hearts and a loser in diamonds? Maybe a Trump loser. All right, what's going to be the safest way to get a rare spade or a diamond? I'm gonna go a spade because the ace is an interesting lead. All right, that's Making our contracts. If there was, and I didn't end up using that card, but I don't think it made a difference. And I'm not sure about that. King of diamonds. Yeah, I don't see how it makes a difference. I'll get the cash at some point in time. All right, we end up in 3 0. Opponents were silent. Didn't bid spades nor lead spades. That is interesting. Still have a stopper in spades. Um, but we have, yeah, we want to do hearts right over here. 10, that's an interesting play. Okay, so we got the ace jack. All right, now they lead the spades. <laughs> As expected. This thing is a mitful. Based on that play. We're going to experiment. I was thinking of doing this later, see if we have the split, but we don't. Look at that. And four oh split there. <laughs> this is not 
evenly distributed. So I have the good diamond and the good spade. We're gonna have to do a spade lead. We can't, then if we do the hard finesse, we're done. All right, so three, so we may have to, <laughs> all right, we're in four spades. Two diamond overcall and partner jump to four spades. A bunch of diamonds to our left. So this hand, e, this this robot, and so if we are short in diamonds, to say the least. That is probably wise because we want to trump these hearts. We're looking to see if they have another one. They do not. Just going to plan to over Trump or under Trump. I'd like to see the eight hearts. I'm not gonna. <laughs> so we got a potential problem here with a Trump suit. Yep. Oh, sorry. it's not. Thought there was still another one out there. All right, anyway, so we are going to make our contract. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to go down one, aren't we? This isn't good, and that's all right, down one. So that West leading Trump prevented us from trumping all four hearts. <laughs> what we need to do or I need to set up clubs or diamonds and I didn't see a future there either. Down one it is. All right, so we're four hearts and they lead the 10 of diamonds, two club over call and a support double. So that's a support double when you have three in the suit. Partner, they didn't know if I had four or five or more. Um, all right, so diamonds, King of Diamonds is probably here, whether they played or not, they did. So we're still looking at a Diamond Loser, and Spade Loser. So here we go. This hand has the Ace of Hearts. We might see a Diamond Return, and uh, they do not. All right, so they are just, I don't know, what's that one, Silver Diamond? Singleton Spade, interesting, okay. Let's look at the Ace of Hearts. Get two more tricks, can we get three? King of Hearts, Ace. Let's see it, get two more tricks. <laughs> Oh, his last left last one I have is the ace hearts. Miscounted, then that means I can make it. That's the case. Oh no, I still have the diamond loser. Down one. Still apparently not back into it from Christmas yet. <laughs> oh well. Counting uh then get back into it here soon, but it doesn't appear to be the case yet. Let's see how we did. Did better than I would have guessed. All right, so that given up, didn't get the trick there. Everything else was 
uh, above average um, with a great start. So anyway, just, yeah, missed that trick on board four, uh, but everything else, um, again, with just to clear, it, it's tough to have a great score, but um, didn't feel like it was that good, but I'll take that um, in this, this game, especially with uh, not having the counting abilities on a couple of them. <laughs> but, um, I just kind of play where I get every trick I can. And so, some, you know, that's the way you play it, but you do need to play, have, have a grasp of what's going on, which apparently I lost a couple of times, but didn't hurt me based on the score. So anyway, hopefully learn something, uh, working, uh, getting that is, I think is the biggest difference between that advanced beginner and the intermediate is getting this trick that you need to, to improve your scores. I think, uh, you know, when you're playing a duplicate game, you're kind of hanging out in the mid forties most of the time. Um, but if you can find that extra trick, that's that, that's that difference between moving you into the mid fifties, um, getting you just above average as opposed to just below average. So these just declares, I made a separate playlist for it. Finding that extra trick is a way to improve your scores. And I hope you do that. So we'll see you next time. Enjoy the game. It's a great one.